Welcome back, everybody, to the main menu. It is very quiet. Uh, let's get back to it. Hope you guys enjoyed Devil May Cry 5's demo. But Soon we will reach the lair of judgment. Time to get back to 3. Finish this game Can off. Not really. We've still got many parts for that. And lead us into the demon world. Cool story, bro. The world where Sparta's power has been sealed. <laughs> this guy goes on and on, doesn't and he? It's very long-winded. The incantation is you, his own son. It must be fate. Not really. This guy's too long-winded for my taste. I think he just likes to hear his, the sound of his own voice. Does that woman really bother you? What are you talking about? Why didn't you kill her? Perhaps because she's your daughter. Did some pesky fatherly love get in your way? That's you tell him, Virgil. Your... Oh! Motherfucker oh. just got cut! To further your study of the black arts, you sacrificed your loving wife. To become a devil as well. Knowing this, I thought you'd be more useful to me. But I was wrong. You tell him, Virgil. No wonder your attainment of power is incomplete. What about you? You're an incomplete being as well. Oh, there's our ten. Both demon and human blood mingle in your veins. Shut up. Oh. You just now got murdered? The final door is open. I have no use for you. Ten. Well, sucks to be him. Mission 10. The job. Strengthen the silent bridge. Will do. Ooh, we can learn air raid. Yeah, let's get another purple guy. So, we're gonna equip Nevin. So Nevin actually gives you wings in Devil Trigger mode. They let you fly, kind of like Devil, like uh, Devil May Cry 2's Aerial Heart, but better implemented. Also, obviously, we just got a new weapon. I gotta show it off. Stone Mask, a mask of magic stone made by an ancient priest that is said he who dons it can walk on water. Hmm. Let's give it a try! So yeah, we're just sh somehow causing electric bats to shoot out of our fucking guitar. Yeah, come here! Nevin's not particularly interesting as a weapon. Honestly, I just like it because it lets you fly. So, we're probably going to stick mostly to our good old-fashioned rebellion sword. I guess at some point, maybe I'll show off the fucking other gun we got that I've never used once in this entire game. Man, it's nice to have an aerial dodge. 
Devil May Cry 5 was nice to give you that with the Gerbera Devil Breaker arm. I never got to show off the fucking laser cannon. Kind of upset about that, honestly. It's pretty fucking badass. So you remember the, uh... There was a guy over here. One of these guys. Couldn't break because we didn't have the right weapon. Now we do. Nevin is the weapon. And we got another fucking crystal y dude. Blue orb, blue orb crystal. Or blue orb fragment. I can't talk today. I can't think today. It's been a rough day. Don't remember. I think we need to put this over here. Alright. Use the stone mask. And now it brings up a bridge for us to walk out onto. So we can get over and get that item that we couldn't get before. I think the skull behind that thing is a fucking secret mission. So we're gonna... I'll go examine it, and if it's a secret mission, we're gonna fucking ignore it. Neo Generator, a magic artifact able to supply power for an eternity. It is used to power the main bridge. Huh, cool. Yep, this is a secret mission. Fuck. Fight off. Fight. Flight of the Demon. Collect every red orb within the time limit. I don't think this is gonna go great. I also don't remember how to fly using Nevin. So, yeah. This is a fail. Guess we'll just wait out the time and it'll fail me and we can leave. Alright. Let's never do that again. That actually used up- oh fuck, that actually did use up my Devil Trigger Gauge, though. That's not cool. So we have to go back now to the, uh, this fancy bridge. That we started the last chapter on. Or the last mission on. <clears throat> before we went in this way to fight Nevin. Ow. But along the way, we're gonna have to fuck up all these guys. Oh, fuck this guy. Get wrecked, sir. Nice! That was actually pretty slick looking. Stylish! I kind of wish they'd, uh... I guess they're keeping it for when the game actually releases. They don't want people being able to do shit early. I kind of wish the Devil May Cry 5 demo included a playable segment for the new character, V, so that you can kind of get a feel for his combat style before the game comes out. I guess they don't want to do that. I don't know why. We're almost dead. I don't like that. Um, I don't recall this gate being open. Or closed. Ow. Fuck you, sir. Alright, they're fucking playing tag with me. Fuck, there's still a dude alive back here somewhere. Fuck, it's one of the... spawny assholes. Fucking wedged in the corner or some shit? Like, where is he? Damn it. Oh, there you are, you fucking dickhead. Ow. Ow. This room is so mean.
Make me use up all my devil trigger. Ow! Fuck you! I don't like this room. This room's a real jerk off. Or as we might say here in the burg, a real jag off. Oh fuck spiders! I need Patrick with his fucking rock. Leave your sticky goo away from me. I don't want it, I don't need it. Ow, fuck you. Fuck you. If you explode into a bunch of babies, I'm gonna be real freaked out and don't I don't like it. Ah oh, fuck a bigger spider! The only thing worse than a regular spider is a fucking bigger spider. Fuck. I can use that just to give just to make sure we don't die in this fucking room. Fuck, the big one exploded into little ones. Fucking die, little bitches. Am I not in the right spot? Shit. All of that, I'm not even in the right area. You can't see my face, but I'm not happy. It shows. Ow, fuck. So that whole trip was fucking worthless in the end. Not cool. You shit. I'm doing it again. This fucking thing was bane of my existence the first time we came through this area, and now it is again. Haha! -ha! I have triumphed. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Ah, these pieces of shit. So you gotta hit these guys in the back, and you can't hit their fronts. Pretty... Pretty standard bolt standard. Shield the enemies. They're annoying as dicks though. Alright, we did it. This room's a lot nicer. The Spinny things that hurt you aren't as big. Oh, motherfucker. Went the wrong way. The camera fucked me. Oh, good. These things are back. Bring it on, motherfucker. And hey, guess what? I'm up here now. Down. 
Die, bitch. This was the room with the shitty puzzle. And the original spider room. Something tells me... Yep, here they come. I think this was supposed to be the introduction of the bigger spider. If I had gone the right way. Yep, there it is. Fucking Gigundo spider over here. Yeah, you can suck a dick, giant spider. Ow, fuck you. Ow. Let's do this. So much spider death. Bring it on, motherfucker. Can't handle this. Yeah. Fuck you, little spiders. Alright, we're back to the bridge. And now, we can put that special f fancy chef that. Apparently it's a ball. It looks flat in the image, but... Dante's got a bit of skills you guys don't know about. He's really great at soccer. Look at this shit. Boo. I'll give uh, fucking Cristiano a run for his money. Damn! And I hope we were on the right part of the bridge. That would have really sucked. Oh, we've got a new destination now. Marble Thoroughway. Oh look, it's fucking Arkham. Got murked. Should have stayed in your asylum, bitch. Well, that was quick. That man. Did you kill him? Does it look like I killed him? It's fucking like gun sword fighting right now. Ooh, I love a fast woman. Shut up! Ooh. He was obsessed with becoming the devil. So well, much he killed his own wife. Looks like he failed because he's dead. For that he butchered innocent people too. He's the most vile kind of creature. Okay. I don't I think she's missing the point of Dante doesn't give a fuck. Ow. That's not cool. I'm shooting her bullet. He's shooting her bullets out of fucking air. Out of the air. That filthy scum is my father. Oh. oh. We have something in common. I have a dysfunctional family too. And what would you know about family? Well, my brother's the guy that brought this tower up this and was working father. with him. He also stabbed me in the abdomen with my own sword. You know, just tossing that out there. Well, you failed. Sorry, lady. I 
I'm a. Uh, gonna shoot? Just gonna <laughs> check out. Rich. Just go. I don't care anymore. All right then. Just gonna peace out. Family, huh? Let's do this. See what we got. What do we get? Come on, B. Nice. Also, his blood stain totally makes the eleven. Because you've been stabbed through the abdomen. Mary, is that you? What's happening? Where's your mother? My mother. You killed her, remember? Yes. That's right. I killed her with my own hands. Hmm. Uh oh. Maybe he wasn't quite so bad after all. I succumbed to his influence. You mean you were possessed? Man, father. <clears throat> yes, I was manipulated. Manipulated by a devil named Virgil. No, that just doesn't seem true. Virgil might be a bit of a dickhead, but... You were kind of an asshole before you met him. Sparta, I thought he was a myth. If the demons return, this world will be thrown into chaos. Stop him. Lady, there's no way you could possibly stop Virgil. You can't stop Dante. Virgil is... Stronger than Dante. Me? You're such a sweet child. Just like your mother. Father. Father. Sad. He had his redeeming moment. He wasn't such a bad guy after all. Here, Dad. You can have your book back. I don't understand what makes her think she can stop Virgil. She can't even stop Dante. Revenge. Give a guest from the past an adequate homecoming. Anything worth learning? Probably not, because we don't have all that much money. Shit. Oh, I have to buy that before I can fucking fly. Cool. I'm actually gonna... We're gonna sw actually, we're gonna switch back to Cerberus. Also, for a little while, I think we're gonna switch back to fucking. Nah, we'll, we'll be fine. I'll buy another one of those. And. Ah, fuck it, let's up Ebony and Ivory a bit. Mission start. Ah, shit, we're already in a room surrounded by assholes. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Get stingered, bitch. Ow. Fuck. Ah, 
think there's an item in here somewhere, but I don't remember where it is, so we're not going to really care about it. Oh, that's over here. Never mind. We're going to get it because I noticed it. It's a double star. Cool. Oh, this hallway. This hallway becomes an asshole. New enemy type. Misty boys, as I like to call them. They only appear when you're not looking at them. So they're incredibly difficult to hit with your swords. So, good thing I powered up the guns. on. sound like a phenomenal place to be. Let's take a look at it. Three heads. Three freakish looking faces are etched into the statue. The center faces tears of blood streaming down its face. Great imagery. Hmm. So you gotta push this box. I can remember how. Does it like this? Oh, I remember how now. Just gotta hit it a good bit. Get in the hole. Now two of the faces weep bloody tears. Now we gotta put this one on the side. What a twist! Blast off. Honestly, kind of expected that to fling it further than it did. Get in there. Alright, they're all good. It reveals a secret door. Behind the secret door is a regular door. And now a fight. Guess who's back? This guy really just doesn't quit, huh? Bring it on, fucking death. Death needs to get some new moves, man. I just keep whipping his ass. I keep learning new moves. Pretty sure last time me and Death fought, I didn't have Devil Trigger. Won't he be surprised? Ow, fuck you. Ow. Death, you really gotta work on your A game, pal. Come on. Come on. You know you want to! Ha. Ah. Fell for it. Oldest trick in the book. Death seriously needs to learn some new tricks, though. It's getting a little, uh, little old. The Temperance Wagon. What a weird name. Nope, not that way. This way. Fall down here. Green orb. Item. It's holy water. Nice. I think 
We all know how I feel about holy water after the first game. Oh, fuck. Uh, we'll get that later. We need Agni and Rudra. Forgot about that. Actually, I kind of didn't. I thought there was a divinity statue there, but there wasn't. So now we're on this fucking real thing. And enemies. Eat shit, bitch! Yeah! I can do it too, you know. I'm better at it. I think I usually, when we get to this point, I throw my sword at that guy repeatedly until he goes away. But since we're not in sword... Swordmaster style? Can't really do that. Where'd you come from, pal? Ow. Alright, we made it to the next area. I think there might actually be a divinity statue up here. So... I don't know if I can get a fucking high enough style rating, though, as I am. We're just gonna skip it. Torture chamber. That doesn't sound very fun. Whoa! your mother ever teach you how to use a door? really doesn't like our dad. A <laughs> son clean up his dad's mess, huh? Where have I heard this story before? So this is Beowulf. He is a fucking asshole of a demon, but, uh, Keystrat hit him in the face. He doesn't like it, he goes a little bit nuts, and it does fucking good damage against him. I'm not quite used to not being able to combo him in the face, so that is, that's a little interesting, but... You gotta get him pretty dead on, too. Ow. Fuck you, sir. Ow! Forgot about this part. Shit. Yeah, let's use it. So if you're good, you can actually hit those back, unlike me. Ow! He's very tough. I'm not sure why they named this guy Beowulf and not Grendel. Because Grendel was the enemy in, in the story of Beowulf. Ow. 
Stop going all feral on me, fucking asshole. Okay. Get away. Shoot him up a bit. Pretty sure if you hit them back, they do fuck good bit of damage, and they uh, they drop green orbs. Damn it! This guy's pretty difficult. I'm not lying. So he doesn't see so well anymore because apparently Sparta, like, in a battle with Sparta, he got his eye cut out. Which is why he gets super pissed if you hit him in the face. I don't know if all demons can assume human form because I know Sparta can. Or could. Because there's a way you can actually unlock a Sparta outfit for Dante in both DMC 1 and 2 and 3. Man, I suck real bad. Do this. Ow, fuck you. you have to hit it back. Suck it. Yeah! Got him. Oh, fuck! Right through the eye again. Yeah, we don't get to kill him. He just kind of pieces the f pieces off. Why do I have to take the heat for my father? Come on, man. Cut me some slack. Sweet. 
And that's mission. Uh-oh. Where'd Arkham go? His book is there, open, and his body is gone. Probably not a good sign. Give me- aw, oh, only a C? Shit. We're gonna do one more mission today. And then we'll go our separate ways. Until tomorrow. This mission's kind of an asshole. There was one like it in the original Devil May Cry. So, in this one, we're stuck in Devil Trigger mode. And are constantly getting our health drained. Because this thing's some sort of weird demonic power source. Oh yay, this guy again. Maybe. I'll die. You know? If that's what it takes to shut you up, it bugs the crap out of me when talks more than I do. Don't act so rashly, my boy. I've got a doozy of a story for you. But if you snuff out my voice like that. I won't be able to tell it now, will I? Then you better start tell talking, dickhead. <laughs> Thought I was a goner for sure. <laughs> Oops. You saw it too, didn't you? That huge tower jutting out of the ground. That thick shaft that causes women to shudder. Sex joke. Linking the demonic domain to the human world. Course. Your brother Virgil is the one who controls it by using your mommy's amulet. Amulet? Hmm. He's headed to the control room in the basement. If you don't hop down there quick like a bunny, he'll... How did Virgil get past all this shit? Isn't that a scary... I just thought about that. Like, we have to go through all this shit to get down there. Why didn't Virgil... I forgot to mention one teeny little item. That gizmo there is actually the key to move forward. But the tricky thing is, it sucks the souls of those who hold it. So I think you better hurry. Seriously, how did Virgil get around? If we have to go through all this bullshit. In return for your soul, it will give you power. Marvelous. Oh, there's the twelve. Just let your young spirit drive you and go for it! God damn, Jester. Such a weird asshole. Wish you would have told me that in the first place. You big mouth moron. Alright. So yeah, reclaim the bridge before the soul is lost forever. And by the soul, it means Dante's. Because you're absolutely dying the entire time during this mission. Yeah, we're gonna learn that. Let's do this. So we're stuck in Devil Trigger mode, and Dante is not. And Dante's health is constantly going down, so you gotta be fast. Gotta go fast. Sonic the Hedgehog style. I'm not gonna go for that fucking combat educator, because I know I can't get it. Or at least I don't think I can get it. Maybe if I had. Uh, Swordmaster maxed out, I could get it, but it would be very difficult with just rig with just Agni and Rudra. Get fucked, sir! So basically, in combat right now, you really don't want to take any ex any extra hits because it just it's gonna fuck you. Like from this exploding motherfucker.
Yeah! mission can be a little tricky because of the whole dying thing but there is always your good friend down here the green orb let's go 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 gotta go fast ah shit forgot about this part more asshole enemies Come on, motherfuckers. So Dante kinda has wings in this form, but you can't ever learn to fly with this one. I don't know why that is. It's kinda like in the first Pokemon game when Charizard couldn't learn how to fly. Despite the fact that he's a fucking drag winged dragon. I still love the idea of Pidgey flying you around. I guess you are 10 years old in fucking Pokemon, but... It's still like, it's a tiny little bird. Alright, enemies in this room are dealt with. Let's keep moving! Ugh. Fuck these enemies! Fucking shit bats! I don't know what they're supposed to call. I don't know what they're actually called, I don't remember. They're called shit bats as far as I'm concerned. I almost forgot about this thing up here. Grab that guy. And of course, there's fucking asshole enemies in here too. The ship bats return. Get fucked, bitch. This is a fun mission where if you do have Nevin upgraded to the point where you can fly, you can just fly around because you're in unlimited devil trigger mode. Fuck you. Get shotgun, bitch. Where is this other fucker? Alright. Kinda wish I had Nevin, actually. Flying in this section would be great! <clears throat> Believe it or not, this isn't the worst part. Oh god, we've lost so much health now. Shit. Oh, this motherfucker. Fucking Grim Reaper ass motherfucker. This comes out of his fucking portal swinging his scythe, but he can't hit me because he's a motherfucker. Yeah, eat shit, bitch.
Wow. We got a lot of health back there. Oh, I think I'm supposed to use this thing. Looks like a control device for the original. Need something special to power this bridge. Fuck. Oh. Apparently we can just fling this thing like that. Yeah. Mission complete. I think we're at- oh no! Maxed out Devil Trigger still, nice. I thought it left you with no Devil Trigger. Oh, so this whole thing. So yeah, this is another battle with fucking Jester. The dickhead. So let's do it. Because I hate myself for some reason. Welcome to hell. Bring it on, motherfucker. I think I mentioned it in the first Jester fight, their green orbs will send at you. If you can hit them, they actually drop green... Like, uh... The, the green balls drop green orbs, I guess I should say. Eat shit, bitch! Ow, fuck you. I'm actually fucking them up pretty good here. Cerberus is a pretty good weapon for fighting this asshole. In my opinion. Fuck you! Ow! Fuck- seriously! Fuck yourself, asshole. Better check yourself before I wreck you. Oh no, this part. Forgot about this part. So now he summons this thing. He's gonna be a real dickhead about it. So I think you can actually destroy the big-ass ball that he's standing on, if you hit it enough. This is where I'm really kind of missing Swordmaster, because I can't really combo him effectively when he's on top of the fucking ball. Oh, there it went, it fucking exploded. Eat shit, bitch! When he nopes off of the ball, that's your cue to get the fuck out. Ow. This fight is not easy, people. Forgot about the fucking giant ball. Fucking cheese dick. Bring it on, motherfucker! Bring it on, motherfucker! Ow, fuck you! 
He, oh, he's bringing it. I know your fucking name, dickhead. You're Jester. The fucking asshole demon. Singer's great for this part, when he just keeps teleporting around every time you try to hit him. Just because it's got such good range. Fuck you. Better use this bad boy so he doesn't kill me again. This part's annoying. This part's very annoying without Swordmaster. Fuck that one up real quick. Oh shit. Stop just noping off, asshole. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, come on. Fuck you. Yeah, I got him. But he just kind of gets up and, you know, nopes the fuck off. That's just a real dickhead. Buy a replacement one of those. I'm gonna buy one of those because I think there's a difficult boss coming up in the next couple of missions. So I just wanna be prepped and ready to roll. It might actually be this mission. I don't remember at this point. If it's the boss I'm thinking of, I'm probably gonna get fucked. Oh, it is. Shit. Well, after yesterday's short part in the demo for Double May Cry 5, here's a longer part. Because this is gonna suck. I forgot this is how this mission ended. That's right, it's a fucking demon horse carriage. Talk about horsepower. What a fucking jokester. A chicken race with a horse, huh? Fair enough. Alright, let's do this, fucking dickhead. Ow. 
going to use this. Ow. Get blasted, motherfucker. And no, this boss fight is not just you shooting this whole time. There is more. We just haven't gotten to it yet. So don't think I'm judging Devil May Cry 3 differently than Devil May Cry 2. It's just... I think there's a another way to do this. I'm just not good at it. There we go. Second phase of the boss fight. Is it an underground fucking coliseum? Fresh chicken, now gladiator. This just keeps getting better and better. Too bad there's nobody here to enjoy the show! So the horse is going to start to run. You can shoot it to do damage to it while it's running. But it'll eventually stop, and that's when you do the real damage to this thing. You're mostly just doing light damage here and dodging the fucking missiles it's shooting at you because apparently that's a thing this horse can do. I can't remember if you can destroy the carriage or not. I feel like you probably can. I'm not going to because probably it's very difficult to do so. It's actually kind of nice having fucking trickster style to dodge those missiles. Ow! Except for that one that hit me like a motherfucker. So you do enough damage to this thing, and it goes down to the ground like a biatch, and then it does this. I forgot about this part. So yeah, it controls fucking space and time. this one, keep myself in the fight here. Ah, shit. Trickster's also working out really well for that port part being able to dodge. That part's really hard if you don't have Trickster. At least it is for me. Ow, fuck. Okay, so that floating orb will fucking freeze me in time. Not, not bueno. Fuck, I dodged back into the attack. Oh, so it's like here. I'm fucking froze. It, it uh, slows down time around me. Because. What the fuck just touched my leg? I really don't know. And it's freaking me the fuck out. Thought it was my dog. What? Well, I don't think it was my dog. Stop targeting that, asshole! No! 
Oh shit! Kidding me? Something brushed past my leg and I'm not sure what it was. That sucked. I was so close I should have used an item, but I did. Not gonna get a great score on this mission. The fucking Jester fight hurts pretty deep, followed by this fucking boss fight. You have to run out onto the bridge to trigger the boss fight. <sighs> Damn it. hurt, dickhead. I don't like you. Oh fuck, now it's coming from the other direction. Alright. Got back to this point. Why does this fucking horse chariot demon have fucking missiles? That's just weird. Although it is kind of cool. It still leagues better than anything Devil May Cry 2 had to offer. Wow, already at the fucking balls, huh? Right on. Fuck. I think if you're good enough, you can actually get on top of the carriage. It's fucking difficult, though. Bring it on, motherfucker! Yeah, that got it that time! Showdown with the horse. I believe it's called Jirian or something like that, or Garian. Oh, it just died. Dante's looks can kill. So we don't get a weapon from this guy. Instead, we get a new style. The Quicksilver style. And much like the horse, we can now 
control the flow of time. Check this shit out. Oop. It consumes Devil Trigger, though, so we're not ever actually going to use it. I like that Dante's just like, yep, yeah, no. Just gonna very calmly move. So yes, we got the Quicksilver. Special power that Garyon Jerion used to control time. This style gives you more freedom in battle to try out different tactics and combos. It also consumes Devil Trigger. So... I'm not gonna use it. Because I like using my Devil Trigger for Devil Trigger. I guess technically that gauge at the top is called your Magic Gauge, not your Devil Trigger Gauge, but it's... Uh... Oh, hey, look, it's Virgil. What's up, Virg? This is a weird-looking room. Oh, hey, it's our friend, uh, Beowulf. Yeah, Virgil just fucked your shit. You're not the one I faced before. But this smell, there are two of them. Sure are. Oh, Virgil just sliced his face up. All we did was take his other eye. And now Virgil got the new uh, weapon. Yeah, because this is what Virgil needed. Damn it. Virgil, why are you so cool? That's a C. That's a hard C. Yeah. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow as we continue our way through Temenigru and fight some more bosses. Till then, have a nice day.